Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Hyman and I'm a senior and business administration major at PC and I'm also a member of the women's lacrosse team. For today's Sam Club interview, it's my pleasure to host Jennifer Crabtree, who's going to discuss the pharmaceutical sales industry with us. Jennifer is a PC alumni who graduated in 96 um, with a double major in business administration and political science. She currently works for AstraZeneca. Welcome, Jennifer. Hey, thank you. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. So to start off, um, we'd like you to first tell us about your academic background and overall experience at PC. Okay, I had a great experience at PC. It was one of, it was a highlight of my life with um, being able to learn about some I took art classes and philosophy classes and business and English and um, a little bit of everything. So I was able to expose myself to a lot of different ideas. And I loved that about PC. Um, and so I graduated in 96, like you said. Sorry for my <laughs> um, so, hey. <laughs> and then I, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no worries. Love dogs. All right, you bet. Yeah, you know, you either love them or hate them. Okay, there they're going go. outside, I think. There they go. Um, so, the, um, so yeah, and then I got my, actually I got my master's degree in um, counseling, which I did not pursue the internship and I have not done anything with that, but there was a point with AstraZeneca where they were talking layoffs and they actually laid off um, some people and I was thinking, what is my, um, what's my next step? And that's what I was kind of thinking and going for there, but I did not get laid off with PC and I'm riding this train until they throw me off of it. So well, that's, that's my plan. Great. Yeah. That's great that you have that different background and different things. And definitely that's something that PC um, kind of prepares us for, oh, I absolutely. feel like too. Yeah, so, that's definitely the benefit of a liberal arts education. So Definitely. So our next question for you is, what is your professional experience before you arrived at AstraZeneca? So my very first job out of college, I sold insurance door to door straight commission in the boonies of North Carolina, which I got to tell you, if you do that, you can get an interview anywhere because everyone is um, super excited to talk to someone who did that because I was knocking on doors and had guns pulled on me and <laughs> crazy stuff. But it was really it was a year of like wow, if I can do that, I can do anything. So, and then I, um, and then I worked for a company and sold copiers for a little while, which seemed, um, like for whatever reason, it just came along my path. And then I got recruited to, um, to then apply for AstraZeneca. And I started working here when I was about 25. Wow. Well, that's a really interesting background. And yeah. great. So, um, what type of company is AstraZeneca and what is your position in the company? So, so AstraZeneca is a pharmaceutical um, company and um, we are based, the U.S. is based out of Delaware, but it's an international company and our headquarters are in, um, in England. So our global mm -hmm. headquarters are in England. Um, I am what you would call a DSS or a diabetes sales specialist. And so um, I sell um, the diabetes part of our portfolio, or I sell two of the drugs that are part of our portfolio there. Um, I mainly call on um, inter internal medicine doctors and primary care physicians. So we have other teams that, um, that call on the endocrinologists. We have teams that call on the cardiologists and go to the hospital. Um, we have respiratory teams who focus on primary care, and then we have respiratory teams that focus on pulmonologists. We have, um, within AstraZeneca, we have a um, big oncology segment. So we have a lot of drugs that are serving um, oncology patients and um, working also with vaccines. I mean, there's, there's so many things that I don't even know that AstraZeneca is working on for for our future. So it's, it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty exciting and neat to be a part of. 
Right. That's really exciting. I've also heard they're working on some COVID-19 solutions too. Well, we just had a drug. I mean, we just had a a, um, paper present and every single, it basically um, improved people's immune system. So, and that's what they're kind of thinking is to boost the immune system. And so that people don't get COVID-19, then the the symptoms are not as bad. So, um, so yeah, so in every single person in that study, which I think there were a thousand, they all showed improvement, which is like remarkable and never happened. So that's pretty, it's pretty cool. Wow. That's really awesome to be a yeah. part of. Yeah. Uh, so our next question is, um, what sales tactics do you use when you're meeting with customers? So do you use storytelling or what kind of tactics do you use? Um, I usually find out really bad things about them and then I, <laughs> I bribe them. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so I think the most important thing is one of the most important things that I do is build a relationship with these people. Um, the, the jobs that I had prior to AstraZeneca were not about relationships as much. It was about like, get the sale and get out of there. Um, but with, with this job with pharmaceuticals, it's more about building a relationship so that then you have earned the right to ask for their business. Right. And so that is my goal is to be authentic as possible. Um, bring them the information that they need and, um, and then, and then, you know, ask for the business. Now you mentioned storytelling, actually connecting emotionally has been found to be a very persuasive way to talk to anybody. Right. So if you can, which, I mean, you can just look at our commercials, especially nowadays, like the, that Google commercial on at Christmas. I mean, Right. It's ridiculously like emotional. So if you can connect emotionally, whether, you know, the solution that you're providing for patients, you're, you're connecting really on that patient type, because most of the time the doctors can think of patients in their head immediately that are just like the patient that you're talking about, that they can, you know, help and help them live a better quality and quantity filled life. Oh, well, that's great. Um, yeah. and, and lastly, we'd like to ask, um, what advice do you have for graduating students who may want to go into this field? Um, it's so different than when I kind of got into it. And it's one of those things, it's like the pendulum swings. Like sometimes companies are hiring big time, other times it is on more of a hiring freeze. So a lot of it depends on um, the company and what drugs they have. Is that something, you know, do they have the drugs right now? Um, or what are they working on? What are they going to launch? My advice would be to get on a place like Indeed. I'm sure mm-hmm. you've heard of Indeed. Um, sure. they, yeah. So they have a ton of postings. Um, I have people contact me. So I think get, you know, having that personal connection where I can send a resume to somebody Mm -hmm. is definitely helpful. Um, But probably just getting on company websites and applying for positions, like any position that you see where you want to live. That's the other thing too. Like sometimes it's going to be in Timbuktu And they're not going to move you. Sometimes they will. Just, you know, it all depends. Also, something that's happening in um, pharmaceuticals is the use of, um, we basically hire companies to hire people, right? I can't think of the word right now. But Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have other companies and they kind of work work underneath us. So if you can get in with a company like that, like PDI is a company, um, for mm-hmm. instance, and you can kind of get in the door there and then you can get to a company like AstraZeneca. So it just depends on how they hire, you know? 
Okay. Well, that's really interesting. Well, thank you for your time today. Oh, and absolutely. If anybody has like any questions or interest, I am, I am available. It's a really fun job. It's given me flexibility. There's so many, I think one thing too, just to mention, there's so mm -hmm. many um, places for people to go. So if you're willing to move, you know, um, you can get into marketing, you get into market access, you can get into, I mean, there's so many things that you can do with this company or with really any pharmaceutical company um, that it really just, there's, it knows no bounds. So, or you can stay, you know, like I am and work up the ladder, but I'm still in kind of a sales position calling on the same people, which I love that too. Good. And it's good that you're doing something that you love. So. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. Well, we wish you continued success and go host. Thank you. There you go. Go Blue Host. <laughs>